Hey there guys, welcome to another episode of Displaying Model Behaviour and I'm back, I'm back at least for a bit because I'm not back to doing like the full awesome edited super duper videos quite yet, almost. Oh, by the end of the week, hopefully, this has just been crazy non-stop, but I've got a whole huge big, dare I say, a haul? I would call it a haul. And I am not gonna just sit on these boxes and leave them unopened, so at least I can share this with you guys. We have a big, oh, we got a wave. We got some sneaky, First ever oh, Storm Mortal Kombat. Oh me mia. This could be the start of something big. And finally we have another double pack Marvel Legends. So you wanna crack these open? I wanna crack let's let's crack these open, shall we? So look, this is finally in here the House of X wave. You know, the wave that everyone has except Muggins over here. And the thing is, I think it was Karma, because Karma knew I didn't even want the House of X wave. I, I know, like, what are you doing, Dave? Well, it's because the sneaky little buggers at Hasbro put the House of X characters on the Sentinel box, as if, as if to say like, well, if you're getting the HasLab Sentinel, you really need these characters too, otherwise it's not really complete. And I was like, oh, you, that is evil and, Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna leave those guys till last to open because right now we've got the main ones that we wanna crack open, which are the Nunu, Nunu, actual Nunu things. I like saying Nunu. So we have, of course, the two newest releases from Hasbro. We got, oh, I haven't said this for ages. Can you see the blur of vision? It's like Television X, the fantasy channel from 1998. Ah, good times. So, on the front, yep, you can just about get this. The Human Rocket Nova, and of course on the back, ha ha ha! Modoc. yep, let's tear this open and see what we got. Cause, yeah, like I was saying, I, I wanna do like full reviews and all that kind of stuff, but I just don't have the time right now. But I really, I don't know how folks with like actual lives do YouTube channels, that's just, bonkers. But uh, yeah, here we go. I can at least share the unboxing with you guys. So first of all, what to look at. Let's take a look at Nova. And Nova, you guys can see him before I do because that's just the kind of reviewer I am. I let you see them before me. But he looks great. Check that out. Nice bold colours. And the gorgeous artwork on the back. Let's take a look at the packaging. Love the embossed Nova logo at the top there. Now, this is interesting because, oh gosh, yeah. Yeah, he does look good. This is kind of almost almost like a, a subtle little burying the lead kind of announcement. I'm kind of easing off Marvel Legends a bit. Don't get me wrong. Like, action figures are, are still my my jam. But Marvel Legends, I'm like, I've... I've got sort of all the ones I really, really want, and now there are ones coming out like, like Green She-Hulk, but she's just in her tattered clothes. I don't need that. I sold my gray tattered clothes She-Hulk because I only really want like the I, I, iconic sort of one. I canceled Quasar because I'm like, I don't even read Quasar. So it's like, I'm trying to be more selective, but Modoc, ho, 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 ho. We've been hearing nothing but good things about this guy. So absolutely, I cannot wait to unbox this. I think it's kind of like a builder figure almost. We gotta, we gotta put him together. So you can put him together with me. But these two guys, side by side, this looks great. I tell you what, I'm gonna unbox all of these. Um, and then maybe I'll get a couple out of the box depending on when I have to go to work. It's pouring with rain and I'm working as like a landscaping building laborer right now. So I'm knocking down brick walls and carting rubble places. That's my life right now. It, I mean, it's like, that's actually quite a fun job. I really enjoy that, but it's pouring with rain right now. Anyway. Got these two here, and this is next one is the one that I've been really, really looking forward to. I've I've got a little cray cray. I've got into Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat. <gasps> I know, but Mortal Kombat is my 90s. You know this entire channel is all about nostalgia. It's all about 90s nostalgia and Mortal Kombat one, two, and three in particular. Just that's the arcades. 
Bessie Arcade at the Bowling Alley at Laser Quest. It was all about Mortal Kombat. So it's limited as to what I could order that's actually available new. So I got one of my favorites from Mortal Kombat 3. Cyrax. Oh, oh it just, with Storm, just the, the quality is just, it's just that little bit different. It's just that little bit different. And yeah, it's funny, like Storm is terrible for mint in box collectors though, because they always have the plastic ruffling kind of like, it doesn't look great to display like that. It's not, not beautiful and clean like this. It's always kind of messy, but yeah, we're gonna get him out. All right, we're definitely gonna get Cyrax out in this video because he just looks too cool. And I, I love like the, the trope, of the unwilling cyborg, the good man trapped inside the cybernetic body. That's just my upbringing. Like that's just the cool trope that I love. Robocop, you know, Terminator, that kind of thing. Just, ah, oh, cyborgs, just awesome, man. Mm. Excuse me, sorry. There's only one way that I can actually keep this energy up. People always say like, oh, you're so enthusiastic. You got the energy. I know, it's caffeine. That's what that is it. <laughs> it's just a lot of caffeine. Okay. And now, finally, the Hox Pox Wave. And yeah, we all know, like, oh my goodness, how long have we been waiting? I think it was the Jean Greys. For whatever reason, the Jean Greys were just not arriving. And look, I know dick all about m manufacturing action figures and stuff. I, I know nothing. I just know how to buy them. I don't even know how to buy them well. I know how to buy them at probably the most expensive prices. <laughs> but I don't know how, like, why, why Why is there one figure? Why do all the other figures arrive except one? Is Hasbro like, oh, did we forget to make that last one? Did we advertise it? <laughs> how? How, did, how is just one figure missing? It just, it's not right. It's not right. I don't like it. Okay, so here we go. House of X. Uh, <laughs> I want to be more excited, but I'm like, I, I kind of hate bought this wave. I'm like, what am I doing? You know, I could have, I, I could have bought them another Mortal Kombat figure for this price. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll shift them on because that's something I've started doing too. The entire Shang Chi wave, besides Mr. Hyde, <laughs> sold. <laughs> All right, let's see what's first. All right, we got Professor X up here first. And the, the, the box art and stuff, it all looks nice and lovely. It's got the House of X uh, imagery on there. Still not a fan of what they're doing with that story, but again, though, the problem is there's very few figures to really get excited about. Professor X is just Professor X in a black bodysuit with a helmet, you know? And quite frankly, he's acting like a total helmet right now. Okay, now this figure is one that I was actually genuinely sort of looking forward to. The uh, Theta? Is it Theta Sentinel? Um, I, 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 they've got their stupid mutant writing. Um, but I think this is called Theta Sentinel. Um, unless the three-headed one is Theta Sentinel. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Either way, red face lady, controversial face lady, because she has a distinctly Caucasian lower face here, when apparently in the comics, oh yeah, you can even see in the box art. Look, distinctly not Caucasian. Face, Caucasian. Can I say Caucasian one more time? Yeah, Caucasian. It's just, it's just, come on, guys. I think a lot of, a lot of modifiers and customizers have been just like painting the face, the actual color it's supposed to be. But still, I wanted, the reason I originally wanted the wave was because I wanted, I wanted her, I wanted all the Sentinels, you see. Because if you get in the HasLab and you got Nimrod, you, and then you're gonna have Bastion as well, you might as well have this Sentinel and then the three-headed Sentinel and just have all the Sentinels. And then I thought to myself, well, I have zero need for Jean Grey. Like, this is one that I'm really, I, I have no interest in, in, in this. She looks pretty enough, although everyone's saying she has stumpy legs. And I can see, I can see what they mean. Yeah, she does have, she's a bit stumpified. Um, yeah, although I quite like the Krakoan gate flower on there. That's kind of pretty. I dig that. Right, almost there, I'm running out of space. I just, oh, I haven't done a whole video in ages. This feels good. Feels like I'm going back to my roots. And I miss that. So now we have, ah, ha, 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 Moira. Another figure that I was actually, surprisingly, this was one that I wanted to buy. Even if I wasn't going to buy the whole wave, I wanted Moira because I wanted a Jean Grey, Jean Grey, wrong redhead. I wanted a Mary Jane body for the retro Mary Jane head. 
But now that I'm gonna have the entire Hox Pox wave, I will probably just keep her in the Hox Pox wave because I've got modern Mary Jane anyway. I've got her from the, the Spider-Man International 2-pack, so I think that's that's probably fine. So Moira can stay with the Hox Pox wave. And all right, three more and we're done. And then we'll crack open Cyrax to finish this video. And releasing this video will sustain me for, you know, a, a few more days until I can finally finish this bastard university assignment and then get back to actually doing what I love, just making decent videos and hopefully not shouting so much. I hope this, the audio on this sounds even listenable. Ah, this is one I really was not interested in at all. White costume Magneto. I got classic Magneto. What do I need white costume Magneto for? Answer is, I don't. But he's part of the wave and like, you know, it looks okay. His face looks a bit, you know, I don't really, don't care too much for this. Ah, oh, I'm so torn by this wave. That's why I'm gonna finish by opening Cyrax so we can finish on good vibes. And then we have, again, you know, Cyclops. It's a cool costume. Cool costume, but Cyclops is a bit of a weird character in the comics right now. I mean, like, he was good, he was bad, he was dead, he's alive. Always, like, a little bit dickish. Ah, it's just, uh, it's just hard to like him. And then finally, we have the 10 billionth Wolverine. Because you can never have too many Wolverines. Am I right? Am I right or am I right? Damn nah, right. So yeah, we have a, a, an iteration of the brown costume Wolverine, which actually the the classic brown costume Wolverine is in very high demand. It's, it's hard for people to get hold of. I've got one. Uh, but yeah, this is actually a decent uh, looking Wolverine. And people were saying like the smile is a bit funny, but it's actually kind of cool because it, it looks like it's not a nice smile. It's a Wolverine smile. It's a, it's a I'm gonna mess you up, bub kind of smile. And then the other one has the, the little gray goatee here. And for anyone who's not familiar, that's in, in House of X, there's like a hundred year flash forward, and that's how he looks in a hundred years. So, you know, he's aged well. Or maybe it's not hundred years. Either, either way, there's a future flash forward. So, right, wow. Huh. <laughs> what a haul this is. I told you it was a haul. So let, I'm gonna clear this space, and then we're gonna unbox Cyrax, and that'll do it for this vid. All right, we're back and we are ready to crack open Cyrax. Now, just like when I first started collecting Legends and I had just missed out on the Rhino Wave, the Sandman Wave, the Lizard Wave, and I was like, oh, if only I had known about these like a year sooner. That's Mortal Kombat. <laughs> so it's like Goro, Shao Kahn, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, not for love nor money. Well, actually for money, but a lot of money. And I was like, oh, if only I'd known about these sooner. Keep your finger on the pulse, Dave. But hey, look, I'm not gonna be a completist with Mortal Kombat. I don't need every character. I don't need every iteration. So I will pick up the ones that I can pick up as I go. Might have ordered Shao Kahn and Goro from Hong Kong. I don't know, did I do that? Let's find out. But here we go. Let's take a look at Cyrax, as always with Storm. Beautiful, gorgeous box art product shots. That's the thing. This just looks like just screenshots from the game, you know. But it, but it's not. It's the actual freaking figure. That's why it's so cool. So I've got a Storm Collectibles Axel Stone, and I adore that figure. Which is why I'm thinking of transitioning away from Marvel Legends a bit because I'm thinking like more kind of quality over quantity. Because again, like the House of X wave. Kind of feels like quantity as opposed to quality. Um, but there you go. But there will always be gems in Marvel Legends and I'll always want to get the gems. But we'll see. We will see how things progress. Oh yeah, that was another thing I forgot to say. I, I keep on mentioning that I might be going to Beijing for a great new job and career that'll give me loads of money and awesome things. Yeah, not happening. <laughs> Just found out this week. After, after waiting nine months, it's not happening. So that's also why I might be backing off from Marvel Legends because I'm like, I can't afford to keep up with all of these releases possibly because it's just too much. And I don't know where my next paycheck's gonna come from. So we'll see. And here, oh, look, just beautiful. I wasn't even expecting that. You've got the proper Mortal Kombat logo backdrop in the background there. That 
that is beautiful. So yeah, as I was saying with, with Storm, they, you know, they keep the, pa the packaging, like it, it's wonderful to protect the figure, but with all the uh, plastic inside, with the wrapping, it doesn't look great to display. So that's the first layer. Man, my room is a bomb site now, but that's fine. I will deal with that when I get home from work in about 18 hours. Whew. It's all worth it though. It's all worth it for these, whoa, hello. For these beautiful guys right here. Look at this, oh my goodness. Let's get Cyrax out of the packaging. <laughs> I love channeling Shardimus. If only I could channel his subscribers. Right, here we go. Oof, oh, he's, he's heavy. He feels like he's got some weight and some heft behind him. This is what an action figure should look like. Look at this guy, Cyrax. Oh, Nina. This, this is just what I was hoping for. This is beautiful. I, I love the kind of robot ninja design. I mean, like, what's cooler? It's like, what's cooler? A ninja or a robot? Ninja robots. And here we have Ninja Robot Cyrax. And oh my goodness. I love that his, I love the Mortal Kombat designs, but also I love that like they're kind of crap as well, <laughs> in, in, in a good way, because he really, he looks like, like a, an extreme sports BMX bike rider. Like this, this just looks like a dude wearing BMX padding, but it works. Also, I mean, they, they took some pretty clear nods from Predator with this mask design here, even with like the sort of dreadlocks on the back. But you know what? It works. It works so great with his kick pads at the bottom like a, any good self-respecting indie wrestler would have. But I gotta say, the joints on this feel nice and stiff. The ankle, this is such a silly thing to get excited about, but the ankle pivots, they just, they, they, they move so nicely. It's just, it's a smooth motion. It's like, you know, it's like, oh, feels good. So yeah, that's that's beautiful. And I've seen, oh, look, he's got, I'm not always a big fan of uh, toe articulation. You can't really see it very well. But yeah, t toe articulation is present. So, you know, it does add to posability, but I'm just never a big fan of it because I feel like it breaks up the foot a bit too much. But let's, look at how easily he stands as well. He's just like, oh, you want me to stand? Boom, there you go, Dave, no problem. What? You're surprised that I can stand easily? Well, I normally collect a lot of Marvel Legends, you see. It's not It's not always so easy. Ah, well, you don't have to worry about that with this guy. But yeah, just look at the wonderful detail. Cyrax, so Cyrax and Sector are the two main Mortal Kombat ninjas. There are other ones in other timelines and other varieties, but this is just, this is great. So he's kind of uh, the, the reluctant cyborg and uh, eventually kind of, you know, his programming gets broken and he becomes like a, a good guy. So he can open up his chest cavity and that's where he ejects some of his extras, some of his accoutrements, if you will. So I, th I think in years to come, there will be Cyraxes that are quite expensive because these are not broken. Because I can see how these would get broken quite easily. So let's just see, he has his, his kind of mine, his bomb. I don't want to tip. I feel like I'm going to tip everything out and it's all going to fall out. Yep, come on hands, there we go. Whee! All right, there we are. Everything is out of the packaging. So I love his little limpet mine bomb sort of thing here. And I do believe, I do believe and I do declare that you can clip this. I think you can possibly, I don't see how actually. <laughs> Maybe you can't, I don't know. I'll, I'll, play, I'll play around with that. But I think that you can sort of park it in, in his chest cavity so that it, it, it looks like it's about to fire out. But I'll play around with that. You guys don't want to see me like playing around. You just want to see me marking out for a little bit. And I miss doing that. I just, it's so funny. Like I've been so used to releasing a video like every other day or so that when I go a long time without it, I'm like, man, I miss talking to these guys. So yeah, you've got the awesome, awesome web net. This is great. So he can encase his opponent in, in a web. So anyone doing like action figure photography, that's where these things just come to life. So like, I will probably not use this. Although it would be a fun accessory for um, Julia Carpenter, Spider-Woman. Or is it just Drew? You know I can never get that right. But she shoots like energy webbing, or she used to. So that would be a fun little accessory for her. But then here, of course, also we have 
so many hands, multiple, multiple hands. So let's just see how easily I'm gonna close his chest cavity for now so that I don't instantly break it. And we're just gonna swap out a couple of hands. Oh, this, they, they just pop off so easily. And I'm gonna have them to like with his clawing kind of hands. Ah, this is an interesting thing with like Storm also is that very often, very often the wrist peg will pop out as opposed to the hand itself. <laughs> so I was just giving out to Marvel Legends being like, you know, oh, look how easy the hand pops off. It's like, yeah. See, Dave, that's what you get. All right, I'm just gonna get that back. All right, the Marvel Legends Karma Gods were really punishing me with that one. They're like, oh, oh, you think Storm Collectibles are better, do you? <laughs> well, we'll just pinky flick that out of your way. But don't worry, I found it. And now I've got his other hands on. And I gotta say, once you know how to treat. That's the thing. I'm so used to treating um, Marvel Legends where I'm like, come on, you bugger. <laughs> Whereas with Storm, it's like, no, 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 gentle, soft touch, soft touch. And then now I've got his awesome clawing hands on here with his yeah, special claws looking just so cool. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we started the thing now. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna be getting more Mortal Kombat figures because this right here, this is where the power lies, brother. This is so cool. I I love this. And he's got more he's got more dreads on the back as well. I don't really see how they're really any different. He has three three dreads here and three dreads here. So these might just be spare because I know that's another thing that Storm do is they give you they give you spare parts. God bless them. Well, the bloody well should do for the price. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there we go. I'm not going to linger too long on Cyrax. I just wanted to share this with you. This guy is a beast. I love this. And yeah, you can see, you can see where the extra cost goes, you know, and, and I get it. I get it. You know, that's, that's why Marvel Legends are the price they are, because they, they reuse bucks and they make it more affordable. Otherwise, we wouldn't get wonderful, obscure characters like Phage or Frogman. I get it. But this, yeah. You're talking you know, more money, but just the, the the quality and the detail, the art, look, look, look at, I mean, I'm not a big articulation person, but look at that high kick. And I think that if I'm not a complete goofball, we can do, ah, oh, look at that. That is just something else entirely. Absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. I, I love this. This is just wonderful. I, I again, I'm not a figure photographer guy, but this is this is just so much potential to play around with. Love this. Okay, so so happy. So I have. Oh boy, I went a little crazy. I have Shao Kahn, Goro, and Mortaro on the way. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to pre-order Kung Lao, who's coming out soon, and uh, maybe get some of the older ninjas because this. Yeah, this, this could be the start of something big because this is just a game changer here. This is BEA beautiful. Well done, Cyrax. This was a great addition to start the Mortal Kombat, folks. And guys, that is my quick haul unboxing. Um, I'm sorry, it's like not the normal sort of pizzazz kind of pow sort of videos, but I am totally getting back to those. At the end of this awful bastard week, I am gonna have the entire summer to just relax, chill out, make a whole butt ton of videos and do a lot more collaborations with other producers as well. I really wanna kinda like get in more with the community and just have fun with some of the good brothers out there. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for sticking with me during this drought period of displaying model behavior. And until next time, keep displaying model behavior. Chill.